Yeah, out, we're out today in Bakersfield and we're uh, registering some voters and making sure everybody knows how to do that and they're registered for the right parties that can vote in the primary. Getting everybody registered up by uh, May 23rd, which is the deadline for California. Um, and just, yeah, just the importance of being involved in your democracy. Uh, this is a really important election. I think it's pretty seminal. Uh, and, and there's a lot of a lot of crazy things going on right now, and, and and for people to be able to be a part of the government, like we're allowed to be in this country, which is a beautiful thing. It's important to make sure that people actually step up and, and do that. And so you're coming out here, and obviously you're a Bernie supporter. Yes. Talk to me a yeah, little bit yeah. about why why that is. I mean, I've, I've been a Bernie supporter for a while, and my little brother who's in college turned me on to him last year um, before he announced. And I, the, the biggest issue for me is the money in politics, um, and with the recent passing of Citizens United. Uh, that, that really gave corporations such an uh, upper hand in our government. Um, and, and that's really dangerous, I think, because you have a government that's supposed to be taking care of the people of our country, and now it's serving as a corporation kind of conduit of, of, for their activities. So I think that, that for me, getting money out of, out of politics is a huge important thing, and, and Bernie is the only candidate who's running on that premise, really. On top of that, I think he's extremely genuine. Um, he's been saying the same thing for 40 years. He doesn't flip-flop on issues depending on what's popular, and he doesn't take money from corporations, obviously. He's a, a, a campaign financed by the people. Um, and it's about the movement, too, you know what I mean? Like, it's, 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 no matter what happens in the election, Bernie still very much has a chance of winning as much as they, as DJ Khaled would say, they don't want him to have a chance, but he actually very much does. Um, it's, it's about this movement, and, and he's ignited a fire amongst a lot of people, especially younger people who aren't stupid, who are educated, who are going to school, who see these issues and see how the government's being ran at the time, right now. And uh, it's created a movement, and that's going to live on long past this, uh, this campaign. Millennials have this bad reputation of, of liking on Facebook and liking on Twitter, but then not actually showing up to the polls. So just getting out there and really expressing how important it is that, yeah, your like might raise awareness about it, but to actually you physically with your body need to show up or get your absentee ballot or whatever it is and convert that excitement and enthusiasm into support, like that actually can make a difference. And it's frustrating when you have, you know, corporate media that is telling you that there's no chance, but doesn't have a chance. And that makes people want to stay home. I mean, people have jobs, people have kids, they have to get babysitters to go vote. Maybe they don't know exactly the process. Maybe they don't have the right piece of identification depending on where you are. Like, there's, so, there's so many blocks that different people are putting up for, for voters and that's so frustrating as an American because it doesn't say in the Constitution that your vote has to be this and this date and there should be a holiday so you don't have to work. There's so many problems with it so just make people understand the importance of taking the time to vote so people, your voice can be heard because every single vote counts in this election like Kentucky, I'm from Kentucky and we had the primary yesterday and it ended up being by like 2,000 votes or something ridiculous how much Bernie lost it was like 0.5% so like every single little vote counts and I think it's important for people to actually hear that and understand what that means. I mean, look, I, I think that it's important to partake in the, in the democratic process as an American no matter what your belief system is or who you, what party you're with or whatever. So I mean, if any, anybody shows up, we'll, re we'll register them to vote. I am preferring for many more Bernie supporters. But as far as goals for the day, I, I think that we're in a nice park. We're here in Bakersfield. I don't think they get a lot of attention from campaigns and things like this often. Um, so just come out here and showing that these other communities that maybe aren't in the heart of Los Angeles or the heart of New York or in big metropolises, they matter as well. And so I, I, right now these kind of interviews, people seeing that we're out here doing this shows what a grassroots movement's all about. Um, as far as numbers, thousands. I hope we're gonna register thousands today, but I feel like we're gonna get maybe 40. 40, that's my goal for today, 40, yeah. yeah. Sounds like a reasonable goal. It, it feels, re I, I like to set practical goals. I mean, I think an important thing for people to know is that May 23rd is the deadline to be registered. Um, do not register as the American Independent Party. That's a very, you know, conservative sound. Independent means like, oh, I can vote both ways. Not at all. It's a very conservative group, and you will not be able to vote for Bernie or Hillary in the primary. So you got to register as Democrat or as no party preference by May 23rd. Primary is June 7th, and it's spreading the word, too. It's like once, if you yourself are registered, you don't just sit back and be like, okay, I'm good. You go out there and you register more people, and you just kind of keep that movement rolling. So that's important as well.